Hey, everybody. How are you today? This is Jim Prusak, physiotherapist from the Pain PT. And today I'm going to talk about building a sense of safety, building a sense of security in your system. Really important. Uh, I talked recently about attachment in our group classes and also an upcoming blog post about that as well, about insecure attachment and its relationship to unexplained or medically unexplained somatic symptoms as we become adults. And so there is a relate relationship here between these things. So insecure attachment, if just look at the word insecure, unsafe, right? So when you have an insecure attachment to one of your parents growing up, it can form in your system an insecurity, right? Which is a lack of internal safety which can lead again to issues later in life because the nervous system and brain may be left in a hypervigilant state or in a state where it's not completely settled and feeling safe. And so when we're in this sort of internal state, that autonomic nervous system and brain is on guard, it's looking for threat, it's looking for danger, and it's always trying to seek affirmation, seek love, seek validation in a way. And that's where a lot of those personality traits come into play that people from trauma have that Dr. Sarno mentioned, the things like people-pleasing, appeasing, perfectionism, do-goodism, over-conscientiousness, overachieving. Things like that are actually born out of an insecure attachment in a way. So we don't feel completely okay in ourselves. We don't feel completely good and safe and secure. So saying all that, what we want to do is build a sense of safety, a sense of security in our system, in our brain, in our limbic brain, in our nervous system. So we can feel comfortable. We can feel settled when we're doing things in life. And so this is the crux of a lot of somatic symptoms is that we don't feel safe we don't feel settled, we don't feel secure, and the limbic brain is kicking up symptoms, somatic symptoms in the body through your autonomic nervous system. And again, your brain can react to things that are completely normal, things that are completely benign because of this. And therefore, we end up getting a whole host of different symptoms in the body, people struggling to do things normally, people's bodies reacting and going off high sensitization, high reactivity in the system. So building a sense of safety, building a sense of security, and if we put that in a framework of an attachment or insecure attachment and trying to make it secure now, I'm always telling people and teaching people, the best person to teach your brain that is you. The best person to teach your brain that you're secure and you're safe is yourself. People like me and other teachers in this field and other people out there can give you some of the knowledge and understanding and some of the practices to do that because I want to also impart to you that you are safe, you are secure, you are okay, you are fine when you're having these medically unexplained symptoms, when you're having what's coined TMS, Dr. Sino, Dr. Sardo coined that tension myositis syndrome what we now call PPD, psychophysiologic disorder. And so we have these symptoms, they are formed by a brain and nervous system that is reacting, that it feels insecure, that feels unsafe, that doesn't feel right. So what we wanna do is teach our systems and show our brains that actually we are okay, we are all right, we are safe, we are secure right here, right now, and we always have been, we just have not learned that. We just don't know that. So again, we got to teach our brains that. You have to teach your brain that. At this point in life as an adult, we cannot expect somebody else to teach this to us anymore. We can't expect our parents now to give this to us. And I see a lot of people are still you know, going about their personality traits, trying to get that attention and validation and love and acceptance from their parents, but their parents aren't going to give it to them. It's many times too late now. Okay, we needed that as a child. So we want to start giving it to ourselves like we are an inner parent 
to our inner child. Okay, think of it this way. You're an inner parent to your inner child. I talk about this a lot with people I work with, that look, your inner parent is your prefrontal cortex, your inner child is your limbic brain. And you as an inner parent are wise and understanding and knowledgeable, and that is your cortex. And you understand what this is. And you're teaching a childlike brain, the limbic brain, that's, again, highly emotional, highly reactive, um, could be hypervigilant, could be on guard, could feel unsafe, feel unsettled, anxious, depressed, all this kind of stuff. We're trying to teach that brain, that inner child, that, hey, we're okay, we're safe, we're safe, we're, we're secure, we're all right, there's no danger, there's no threat. Again, the symptoms many times, these somatic symptoms are representing some sort of danger and threat in your brain, okay, that shows up in your body. It's not usually that there's a true danger or threat anymore in the present moment. Most of the stuff has come from the past, it's happened to us in the past. It's taking place now because of triggers and things, but most of the time it's happening now is not truly dangerous and threatening on a sort of evidence-based level, on an intellectual level, right? A cognitive level. So we need to teach our brains in many different ways. And I've talked about a lot of ways here on the channel, that security and that safety to the system. This is what I work on with people as part of your treatment, as part of your recovery with one-to-one -one sessions and also in the group is, is that we are not broken. We are not broken. We are not damaged. We don't need to be on guard anymore. We don't need to be hypervigilant. We don't need to be worried about things as much as our brains are, as much as our limbic brains are, as much as our inner child is, okay? That we can also don't need to be afraid of emotions that maybe we'd never learned to process or deal with as a child because of our upbringing. So, as part of this insecure attachment style that we see very much related to unexplained uh, symptoms in the body, we also see emotional processing difficulties occurring in tandem with that. So that's another piece of this puzzle is that we wanna work with these emotions in a good, healthy way and learn how to do that. Okay, so as we teach safety and security into our system that we're not broken, we're okay, we're also teaching safety and security around emotions that they're also okay and all right. And we just need to learn to work with them because they kick up a lot of somatic symptoms in the body. So safety and security, everybody. We wanna teach ourselves that we're safe and secure. Use the evidence you have to know that. Use the evidence you have of your condition from everything you've been through, from, from doctors to what you know, your history, to your personality, to your upbringing, take all the evidence and put it together. What is this that you're dealing with? What's the diagnosis? Is it what we would call TMS, psychophysiologic disorder, neural circuit disorder, or is this some kind of structural issue that you need to get looked at? A lot of these conditions, as you know, are not structural. They're neural circuit, they're nervous system and brain driven. They're the stuff we're talking about here. So you use the evidence to build the safety in your system. That's what you can start to do. You can use the evidence you have through self-talk, affirmations, through reassurance and reaffirming to your limbic brain that indeed you're okay, based on the evidence, the actual evidence. Now the emotional brain, the little child brain may react, probably will. It's gonna kick up a lot of anxiety or fear or worry because that's what it does as an insecure brain is not going to feel safe and it's going to project that through the symptoms and also through your thoughts and also through your behaviors. So we're looking out for these things at you know every angle basically, looking for these thoughts, looking for your behaviors, looking at your symptoms through the lens of safety, through the lens of being secure, that this is just an insecure brain kicking out this stuff in your body. There's no danger, there's no threat. It lives in your brain. The danger and threat lives in your limbic brain, but not in the present moment. So our job is to teach the brain this. You're the best person to teach your brain this, day in and day out. 
Don't rely upon other people. You can get assistance and support from people like myself and other coaches and psychologists and people out there. That's very helpful. But ultimately, you want to be the one to believe and know that you're okay and be that inner parent to your inner child and teach that child, teach that limbic brain that you are secure. You are secure. You're safe. You don't need to act in these ways through your personality anymore. You don't need to behave in ways that demonstrate and show and reinforce that you're unsafe, that you're insecure. So everybody, let's work on building safety and security into your system. Okay, it's a practice that we're trying to do. And again, I'll leave you with this. There'll be a disparity for a while where we know and understand this stuff intellectually, but emotionally, we're not gonna feel safe. We're not gonna feel secure. And that is what we're up against. That's what we're working against is the feelings that we have. This is the emotions and, and the symptoms that are trying to tell us something that is bad and wrong and dangerous. And we are holding our ground in teaching the brain to know there's nothing wrong. There's completely fine. I'm healthy. I'm strong. This is just an overreaction from a scared, insecure, limbic brain or inner child. Okay. So let's keep practicing there, everybody, to build the safety and security into your system. It's really important. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate all your support. I will continue to put out videos to help you guys. If you're looking for more individualized support, you can reach out to me for one-to-one -one coaching. I also offer weekly group coaching as well. Just go to my website, thepainpt.com, and you can get more information there. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.